Hi moms and dads, Dr. Nicole here with another family-friendly tech tip. Do you know what EMFs are? EMF stands for electromagnetic field and EMFs are emitted by devices both in our homes and in the environment around us. Everything from power lines to microwaves, smartphones, tablets, TVs, wireless earbuds, all of those types of devices emit these EMFs. And they emit them at low levels that have long thought to be safe for humans. But some concerns have come up in recent years now that we are using electronic devices and exposed to wireless technology in ways that we weren't um, in the past. And so some concerns have come up around what the cumulative effect of constant exposure to these EMFs may be for human health, particularly when we think about children and their growing brain. We don't have conclusive research evidence either way to show that they're safe or they're unsafe, but there have been some studies that show reasons to be concerned particularly for children when it comes to chronic exposure to these EMFs. As a parent, you may have noticed yourself that you have a child who seems to be sensitive to EMFs. Some kids, when they're exposed to these EMFs for longer periods of time, will complain of things like headaches or um, will get more irritable, have trouble sleeping. They may be more hyperactive, impulsive, more dysregulated, those kinds of things. Um, as an adult, um, some of the complaints are things like uh, headaches, feeling dizzy, just kind of feeling off and, and unwell. And I've noticed that myself in recent years that I've become more sensitive to EMS. I spend a lot of time for my work in the clinic around computers using my laptop. And I began to notice a couple of years ago that when I set my laptop right on my lap, after a little bit, I start feeling just kind of off and not very well. And I do a lot better if there's more space between me and the laptop. So all of my patients know now when they come in, I have my laptop on a table or a desk um, to work from as opposed to right on me. So this can be an issue for adults as well as children. And until we have more conclusive research about the safety and those kinds of issues, it's wise to use some common sense precautions that can help protect children and their growing brains from the potentially negative effects of chronic EMF exposure. So here's a few tips that you can begin to implement. The first is a real simple one. Turn your Wi-Fi router off at night. That way when you're sleeping, nobody in the house is exposed to EMFs from the Wi-Fi. You're not using it anyway. You can either put your router on a timer that turns it off at a certain time or the last adult to bed can simply shut it off and then you can turn it back on in the morning and speaking of bedtime and EMFs it's a wise plan to not have children, or adults for that matter, having uh, devices in the bedroom at night. A um, lot of reasons for that, particularly with kids related to safety and good sleep and those kinds of things, but from an EMF standpoint, keeping the devices out of the bedroom at night allows the child to get a full night's sleep without the exposure to those EMFs. If there is a reason that the device needs to be in the room, make sure it's on airplane mode so it's not transmitting. Um, and then you, you uh, cut down on the EMFs from that and don't put devices near the head while sleeping. Another simple strategy is to keep devices off the body whenever possible. So I mentioned in my office, I always have my laptop sitting on a table or a desk. You can also get lap pads or things to put between your body and the computer or the tablet while using them. Also important to teach kids if they're going to have a smartphone or something like that in the pocket of their pants or somewhere else on their body to to put it in airplane mode while they're doing that so that they don't have the EMF exposure up close and right on their body. Also smart to not use the phone, a smartphone up close to your head for calls or any kind of cellular phone up close to your head. Uh, use earbuds that are wired to the phone, use speaker phone, use a stand for the phone, but keep the phone away from your head, particularly for any kind of longer um, call. And if kids are gonna use um, a tablet or a smartphone to watch a video or something, have them stand it on the table as opposed to having it right up close to them. Also wise to be cautious about things like wireless earbuds. Everybody seems to be running around now with these wireless earbuds and, and other kinds of wireless gadgets that are used for lengthy periods of time right close to the head and close to the brain until we have more research on how that might affect our brains in general, particularly the brains of children. 
It just makes good sense to use wired headphones or things that don't emit extra EMFs right close to our head. So those are some simple tips and strategies you can implement to help protect yourself and your children. I hope that this gives you some food for thought and some practical things that you can begin doing right away to support your kids' health as it pertains to devices and EMF exposure. Thanks for watching and I'll be back next time with some more family-friendly tech tips.